All right, we're now being joined by Rutgers head coach C. Vivian Stringer, along with Kalia Copper, Brianna Canty, and Benijah Laney. We will start with an opening comment from Coach Stringer. Coach? Uh, we're good. We're happy to be a part of the Big Ten tournament, and um, I was really appreciative of the way our team played. We played with a great deal of heart and enthusiasm and um, played together. So uh, we're going to have to do that uh, throughout the tournament, and um, I think that probably the WNIT run uh, is going to help us, I'm hoping at least. All right, let's open it up for questions for the student athletes. Are you asking for a question? A uh, question for the student athletes. Do we have any questions for the student athletes? A question right here. Ladies, how did it feel to get that first Big Ten tournament win under your belts? Uh, Benaja, why don't you take that question? <laughs> All right. You know, it was um, it was great, you know, and especially for it to be a team effort. Everyone played well. We were balanced across the board. Um, we had a few players in double figures. You know, we had Brianna with 10 assists. Um, it was great to have Rachel back and just be a full team effort. Okay. Kalia? Um, yeah, just going off what Nash said, it was good to have a uh, Good player, players step up, and especially Brianna with the 10 assists, and it was good to have the support from the band come, and it just played a, a good part in us getting a good win. And Brianna, anything to add? Just what they said. All that right. Great. Further questions? Student athletes? Another one right here. Coach, it was a tough game against Northwestern your last time out against the Wildcats. What does the team have to do pr to prepare for the next round? Well, first we have to uh, get an ice, ice bath uh, and then recognize the things that we've got to do better. I mean, Northwestern is an outstanding team, and um, Joe, the, the coach, has done just a great job. They're very confident. Uh, they played extremely well against some of the, the best competition in the country. Uh, so we know we have our work cut out. We were trying to rest our starters today a little bit, um, and we're, we're just going to have a, a tougher time, but of course, uh, I think that with the addition of Rachel, it should make for a little different um, uh, different scheme. So I've got to give some thought to that. I really have just dealt with it one game at a okay. time. Further questions for student athletes? One more for student athletes, okay. Ladies, uh, Rachel Holliday made her return to the court after going down against Michigan State. How did it feel to have her out there today? Uh, Brianna, if you want to take that question. It felt great <clears throat> just for her to be back and me dishing. Getting her the ball, it's a good feel with her on the court. It makes it easier, my job easier anyway. All right, student athletes, we'll send you back to the locker room. We'll now take questions for the head coach. Question right up here in the front row. Charles Holm, Minnesota Sports Recorder. Coach, is it harder or easier to prepare in these kind of tournament games when you have such a short window? Well, you could imagine that it is harder, um, but on the other hand, um, you have to, it's extremely important that you're fundamentally sound and that you make little tweaks. Um, and um, that's what happens. Uh, and, and, and again, uh, I'm happy that our team had an opportunity to um, play the number of games as they did uh, for the WNIT, so they're not totally shocked, you know. Um, and of course, having to play today and then backing us, this up with the game tomorrow. Uh, and every other day, um, that's going to be tough. But we've got to rely on um, the fundamentals of how we play this game. Um, what you saw today was a little different for us because we generally don't play five guards. Um, but it's because Benaja, as well as um, uh, Essie, are extremely bright that they were able to convert from being a two guard or a three guard to playing as a four and a five. And for those of you who know anything about basketball, you know that we're talking about inside play, and that's major. Um, so they knew the patterns. We were able to run certain things, and that's the reason why we were as, as um, effective, I think, defensively as we were. Okay, question in the back. Coach, you guys have played IU three times, spread over three months. You know, did you see any improvement or change in the team you know, from December to now? Yeah. Yeah, uh, coach should be given a great deal of credit and those players. Let me tell you something. They just played a tough game last night, and I think that anybody knows that to recover, uh, you know, uh, before 24 hours, and that's basically what they did, uh, is tough. Um, they are, they're always coming back, and um, 
yes, they're, they're, they play with a great deal of heart. They execute well. They've got great skills. When we write all of the things that they do on the board, then it's clear that everyone, just about everybody, is shooting it at the three-point range. Uh, Coach does a great job of keeping them positive and pumped up, and uh, they're rebounding. They're playing hard. I, I have nothing but praise uh, for them. And um, uh, believe me, we had to put our team on high alert because what our statement was that, was that um, we were um, particularly vulnerable with this game because any time you play uh, someone three times in a year, you have to be greatly concerned about that because there kind of is kind of a, a lackadaisical kind of approach. And um, we believe me, I, I was really trying to fire everybody up. So. Um, this team, um, Indiana, did a great job, and uh, Coach has got a great future with them. Further questions for Coach? All right, thank you, Coach. Appreciate thank you. the time. We'll see you tomorrow. No more tomorrow.